The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance, it is the illusion of knowledge, Stephen Hawking once said. These words ring truer than ever in our modern age. We are surrounded by information, yet often find ourselves trapped in echo chambers where our existing beliefs are constantly reinforced. This phenomenon is particularly prevalent in the realm of leadership, where individuals in positions of power may be less inclined to seek or consider external advice. Leaders like everyone else are susceptible to the allure of confirmation bias, surrounding themselves with voices that echo their own beliefs. They may dismiss dissenting opinions as noise, failing to recognize the value of diverse perspectives. This essay will explore the dangers of leaders who fall prey to the echo chamber effect. We will delve into the perils of ignoring advice and the importance of seeking diverse opinions for growth and sustainability. Drawing parallels to historical and contemporary figures, we will examine the real-life consequences of such behavior. Finally, we will suggest how embracing differing views can lead to better outcomes for leaders and the people they lead. One of the most significant dangers of the echo chamber effect is the risk of making poor decisions. When leaders only hear from people who agree with them, they are less likely to identify potential flaws in their plans. This can lead to costly mistakes, both in terms of resources and human lives. History is replete with examples of leaders who made disastrous decisions after ignoring the advice of their advisors. Consider the example of King Louis XVI of France, surrounded by courtiers who told him what he wanted to hear. He failed to grasp the growing discontent among the French people. This ultimately led to the French Revolution and his own downfall. In more recent times, the Iraq War serves as a stark reminder of the perils of ignoring expert advice. The Bush administration, convinced of the presence of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, largely dismissed dissenting voices within the intelligence community. This decision had far-reaching consequences, leading to a protracted and costly war with no clear victory. These examples highlight the importance of seeking and considering external advice. Leaders who are open to feedback, even if it is critical, are better equipped to make informed decisions. They are more likely to identify potential pitfalls and adjust their course accordingly. Moreover, seeking advice from a diverse range of sources can help leaders develop a more comprehensive understanding of the challenges they face. Ignoring advice can also lead to a loss of trust and credibility. When leaders consistently dismiss the concerns of their advisors or the public, they create an environment of distrust. This can erode their authority and make it difficult to effectively lead. In the long run, failing to heed advice can damage a leader's reputation and undermine their ability to inspire and motivate others. Throughout history, we find numerous examples of leaders who suffered the consequences of ignoring advice and surrounding themselves with yes-men. One striking example is Napoleon Bonaparte, whose early military successes fueled his belief in his own infallibility. As he consolidated power, he increasingly surrounded himself with individuals who affirmed his decisions, leading to strategic blunders like the invasion of Russia in 1812. The disastrous campaign, marked by brutal winter conditions and fierce Russian resistance, decimated Napoleon's army and ultimately led to his downfall. In contemporary times, the phenomenon of the echo chamber is often exacerbated by social media algorithms that reinforce existing beliefs. Leaders may find themselves interacting primarily with individuals who share their views, further solidifying their convictions and making them less receptive to alternative perspectives. A notable example is the case of former U.S. President Donald Trump, whose reliance on Twitter as a primary communication platform often amplified his own echo chamber. His tendency to dismiss dissenting voices within his administration and rely on a small circle of advisors contributed to a climate of polarization and distrust. These examples, spanning across centuries, demonstrate the enduring relevance of the echo chamber effect. Whether due to a leader's personality, the structure of their inner circle, or the influence of technology, the consequences of ignoring diverse perspectives can be significant and far-reaching. The antidote to the echo chamber effect lies in actively seeking out and valuing diverse opinions. Leaders who prioritize inclusivity and encourage open dialogue are better positioned to make well-informed decisions and navigate complex challenges. By creating an environment where dissent is welcomed and respected, leaders can foster a culture of critical thinking and innovation. 
Moreover, embracing diverse perspectives allows leaders to better understand the needs and concerns of the people they represent. This is particularly crucial in today's increasingly interconnected and diverse world, where leaders must navigate a complex web of competing interests and viewpoints. The benefits of seeking diverse opinions extend beyond decision-making. By engaging with individuals from different backgrounds and perspectives, leaders can broaden their own understanding and challenge their own assumptions. This can lead to personal growth and an enhanced capacity for empathy and compassion. In essence, embracing diversity is not only a strategic imperative, but also a moral obligation for leaders who seek to serve the best interests of all.